Hi, I'm Marian Owen in Kodiak, Alaska, and welcome to our garden. So I invite you to take a walk with me. Today is June 7th, and it's about 8.30 at night. It won't get dark till about mm, 1 o'clock in the morning, so here we go. This is the entrance to our bed and breakfast over here on the left, but we'll start over here near the hoop house where the guests would park. And we've got some uh, Virginia and over here we have Blue Poppy in a red chair. That'll be happening soon. And this is interesting um, way to plant flowers and so on. These are octopus pots. These are commercial octopus pots and they make for a great way to plant flowers. They got a hole in the bottom. Sometimes the wind really gets these flowers going. Um, this is kind of the end of our alongside the hoop house here. Our bulb flowers and they'll be replaced by Iceland poppies and calendulas and gladiolas. Take a look inside the hoop house. Like I said, it's still early yet. It's early June, so not quite full, but you can kind of get an idea what we're looking at. We've got um, greens that are pretty much done, but I'll go ahead and uh, make stir fry out of them. Tomatoes will be going up bamboo trellises, and uh, we'll have some climbing beans over here on the left. We've got more beans and uh, bok choy and radishes. The fans run um, pretty much 24-7. Keeps the pests down, you know, aphids, all those guys. The entrance, hanging baskets, which are kind of cool actually. I really like these guys. Uh, they're made in Germany, and you can see where the, the fill, the fill, um, the fill hole right there is on the bottom, so that's a reservoir of water, so you don't have to water from the top all the time. And I've got these planted with um, calendula and sweet peas and Iceland poppies, and I poked in a few uh, nasturtium seeds. And I really like these containers. They're also made in Germany, and. Uh, They have a little fill port right here, which is pretty handy. Yeah. So again, you don't have to water from the top all the time. It just fills the reservoir on the bottom. Yeah. A little welcome bear. Yeah. Stepping stones. This is Daisy, the dragon. Daisy is built from uh, recycled materials, styrofoam on the inside from old uh, floats in the harbor, and she steams from our boiler. Pretty cool. In the winter, she gets these icicle beards. Rhubarb going strong, and up above the rhubarb is a rain gutter that has been planted with lettuce. Lettuce has a pretty polite size of root so it can, can handle being in confined quarters. Columbine that's starting to bloom. And uh, pots there on the deck. Uh, nice rhododendron. Some primroses. These are really pretty primroses. Quite fragrant. This primrose is done. Needs to be trimmed. And here's a mechanopsis, a blue poppy that's about to um, bloom for us. And over here on the right, on the fence, are what looks like bookcases. And they're pretty shallow, so that's so when Marty mows the lawn, they don't get bumped into. We're going to take our 
walk here over to the ocean side. Another, another octopus pot. See that flat spot? It's just really handy. And our deck. Of course, everybody needs a propeller on their deck or two. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Globe flower. Yeah. Primrose. It's almost done. I love primrose. It's such an early flower. And by the way, this is a cherry tree that's um, about to bloom. Just starting to bloom. Yeah. Bougainvillea. Oh, nice rhododendron. Just, just starting. Yeah. I love rhodes. Yeah. And over here, I've got peas. Going up a trellis. A raised bed. I like my little sea otter here. Yeah. I that metal. Have a nice sunset maybe tonight. Check out the whole kind of lay of the garden here. I'll back up a little bit. These raised beds um, we built with uh, four by sixes. It's a little spendy, but it allows me to stand on them and uh, put put um, tools on them. Yep. Then. These are uh, cabbage and kale seedlings right here, but um, planted right here are seeds, a uh, mixture of seeds, including spinach, and they're covered with fishnet, That's so the birds don't get in on them, dig around, do the Michael Jackson shuffle. And these uh, PVC pipes actually uh, Three quarter inch, and they stay on these beds year round. And we just cover them with different types of material, from plastic all during the winter to the fishnet. Yeah, hi. How you doing? Um, so we just leave them on there. I just really like having them multi-purpose use and uh, lettuce seedlings. So you see here, this whole bed is covered with uh, fishnet. And this is actually shrimp web, so it's fairly small, maybe half inch size, and it's to cover up the carrots because I don't want them all mixed up with birds. It's seed tape. And oh my, this is impressive, these guys. This is garlic that we planted in September, and I'll be harvesting this oh, in July or so. Coming over here, I've got one of my all-time favorite flowers. That would be these Iceland poppies. Aren't those magnificent? They just bloom their little hearts out from April until freeze-up. Yeah, here's a nice example of this, this other plastic. You see, this is... Um, a reinforced plastic that construction folks use and we have it stretched over what is um, zucchini plants and it's just a little cool here in this um, temperate rainforest climate that we live here in Kodiak Island so we just have to cover it up and then really handy are these two inch paper clips fit perfectly over the three quarter inch PVC Here's some um, red currants blooming, strawberry pots. Can I get a little idea of the other direction? Yeah.
Over here we've got um, onions. These are bulbing onions. These are a long day onion because we've got long days here in Alaska, as opposed to Vidalia's like, you know, short day onions like Walladol, sweets and stuff like that. Here's uh, Echinacea, Gladiola bulbs. And this is gonna be a special Mechanopsis. Not a blue poppy, this will be a white blue poppy, so to speak. Sweet peas, kind of go up the trellis on the side of the greenhouse. So let's take a walk or a peek inside the greenhouse. Fan is running 24 7. Nice and toasty in here. It is early, so. We do have uh, strawberry pots, uh, tomatoes, these uh, tumbling toms on the left, um, cucumber plants, squash plants, more cucumbers, and uh, marigolds on the left there, up on the windowsill. I love marigolds for keeping um, aphids out. And we've got pepper plants, tomato plants. One of my favorite varieties of tomatoes are a variety called Czech. And they're really, really stout football players. And we've got some basil seedlings started. And this is something that's a little different, this, this liquid here. Um, it's like kind of a like goulash or soup and I keep it stirred so it doesn't go anaerobic. But this is basically a, like a kelp or seaweed soup mix. You know, we just buy these packages of, of dried soup mixes and uh, that's where I can get the bucket. Um, can't read it, but you can see there's bits of seaweed and um, dried radishes and so on. So if you don't have access to seaweed, it's a really handy way to just feed your plants. Just put a handful in a bucket of water, stir it around for a couple days and use the liquid and the bits to feed your plants. Trying to put the hose away, I can tell. Got a um, bleeding heart here, and soon to be a white bleeding heart. Primroses, last of the spring primroses, yeah. Hostas. This is a poor little. Aronia tree right here. It's being held up a little bit. This is a honeysuckle berry or an edible honeysuckle. It's got pear shaped berries. It tastes a little bit like blueberry. More red currants. And another octopus pot. And this is comfrey, which I think every gardener should have their own patch of comfrey. Fabulous, loaded with minerals, breaks up hard soils. Oh, and here's something going on here. Look at this. These are bumblebee houses that my husband and I built, and I painted the fronts. And uh, two out of three are occupied. That's kind of fun. Some building materials. Then we come to three bins, three compost bins. And just turn this one. You can see um, there's a cover on it, like um, foam insulation. I keep on there. There's a thermometer. 
poked in there. And my favorite compost cowboy. The compost cowboy here that I found um, on the beach, kind of tucked in the kelp. Temperature is almost up to 90, and I just turned it, so this is pretty fun. Not bad for a couple days, right? Thought I heard somebody coming into the house. Maybe not. Should be pretty much done for the evening, but bumblebees are a pretty strong lot. All right, there we go. Thanks for joining me, and uh, watch for the next installments gardening in coastal Kodiak Island, Alaska. Have a great rest of your day, everybody. I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for joining me.